Researchers from NUS have found a simple and low-cost way to turn pineapple leaf fibers into ultralight biodegradable, biodegradable aerogels. Now, aerogels can be used to keep fruit and vegetables fresh for longer, as well as remove toxic metals from wastewater. Harvesting pineapples often results in tons of pineapple leaf waste, and that's usually left to rot or be burnt. And that could release harmful chemicals and greenhouse gases as well. And for more, we're joined by one of the researchers, Associate Professor Dong Hai Min from the Department of Mechanical Engineering at NUS. Thank you very much, Professor Dong, for joining us this evening. Um, so first up, what sparked the idea of exploring the use of pineapple leaves? Can the same be achieved with other types of leaves? The pineapple leaves, they are abandoned, are abundant in agriculture. When the farmer harvests the pineapples, tons of the pineapple leaves end up in the landfill to rot or they are burnt. This could release the harmful chemicals and also the greenhouse gases. By converting the pineapple leaf weight into the high value material such as aerogels, we can help to solve the environmental problems and the farmer can enjoy more income as well. Now, this aerogel technique can reduce for the old time of the leaves and the food weight as well, such as the sugarcane, kopi, and okra. Reversely, we also successfully created the aerogel using the industrial waste, such as the paper, fabric, rubber, metal, and plastic. The waste material can be in the fiber and the powder form. Professor Dong, can you briefly describe to us the process of transforming pineapple leaf fibers into these aerogels and how does that compare with conventional methods of producing aerogels? In order to make the aerogel pineapple leaf fiber are mixed with the non-toxic fiber linking chemicals. This mixture is placed in the freeze dryer and then heat into the oven. This whole process took about 12 hours from the raw material to the lighted solid material called the aerogels. There are three major advantages of this new methods. It's 18 times faster than the conventional methods. We can also reduce significantly the production cost of the aerogel. Secondly, non-toxic solvent is being used or released into environment during the manufacturing process. So this method is eco, uh, I mean, it will be environmentally friendly. Lastly, the eco aerogel can be reused, recycled, and disposed safely into environment without causing any pollution or any chemical treatment. So, Professor John, help us understand, how do these eco aerogels keep fruits and vegetables fresh for longer? And, and more importantly, how safe are they? Uh, ethylene gas triggers the ripening process of the fruit and vegetable. So, when we caught the eco aerogel with the activated carbon powder, they can absorb the ethylene gas six times better than commercial solvent. So this has to delay the rotting process by at least 14 days. This is very relevant to the fruit and the vegetables that continue ripening after the harvest, such as banana, mango, babaya, and tomato. Our, um, they are really sad because our biodegradable eco aerogel made from the natural fiber when we use them for the food reservation, the carbon coated aerogel are not in the direct contact with the fruit and vegetable. And we do not use any chemical uh, reservative in this method. So the eco aerogel can be easily regenerated and reused many times. And so this biodegradable aerogel that, that you've developed, it also has some impact on wastewater as well. Can you explain that? The eco aerogel, uh, when we cause with the different chemicals such as DETA, can remove efficiently many metals from the wastewater, even if they are in the low amount. The treatment process is simple and four times better than the conventional method using the natural clay. The process does not generate 
and is secondary waste, and they can be reused several times as well. Thank you so much, um, Professor, for speaking with us, uh, where they have found a simple and low-cost way to turn pineapple leaf fibers into ultralight biodegradable aerogels. We've been speaking with Professor Dong Hai Min from NUS.